Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this look as well as a foundation review for the CoverGirl True Match foundation that comes in 40 shades. So if you want to see how I got this look and what I think of that foundation, then just keep on watching. So before we get into the eye look today, I want to quickly mention what Influencer just sent me. So they did send me the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation as well as a primer. So this is the foundation and they sent me the shade L30 Golden Ivory and then they also sent me this True Blend, uh, I'm sorry, True Blend Primer and this is their color neutralizing primer. I'm going to try both of these today for my base and see what I think about these. Really quickly, I am going to read over this card that they put in the box along with this stuff. So this is basically kind of telling you about the foundation. So the first thing it says is our new True Blend Matte Made Foundation is available in 40 shades with 26 shades new to the True Blend family. Medium to full coverage foundation that provides a flawless naturally matte appearance with a broad shade palette that matches most skin tones. Other key benefits are that this foundation is oil free, transfer resistant, pore minimizing, and um, comfortable to wear. And so down here it also shows you kind of like the groups of skin complexions in all the shades that they have in that group. If you want to figure out how to receive influencer boxes, this stuff was sent to me for free to review and test and let you guys know what I think about it. If you guys want to get in on the mix, um, I will link down below my video talking all about influencer and how you can go ahead and sign up to possibly start receiving some free stuff. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids, so I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade Ivory. Yeah, Ivory. This is their, I believe their lightest shade. So I've been doing this new thing where I don't set my eyelids. I kind of, I let them set themselves. I just kind of let them sit there for about five minutes and basically set down. But I do not go in with powder anymore because I get amazing color payoff when I don't. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to start by going in with this shade right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I start by kind of placing it down where I want it to go. Since we didn't set it, it is going to kind of have a little drag or pull to it when you try to blend. So I always lay down the shadow first and then go in and buff it out. I don't know if it's too late, but I forgot completely that I wanted tape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my eye or on my outer corner. And just blend lightly because we didn't set it. So you don't want it to get like muddy or blotchy. I'm gonna go in with this Rimmel Natural Bronzer and this is in the shade 27 Sundance. So I'm just gonna dip into this and then put this right below in my crease. So I'm just taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and an e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just gonna start cutting my crease. Now that my crease is cut, I'm going to go into this shade right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just taking a concealer brush and I'm going to tap this right, oh shit, you know what, I'm going to need some glitter primer. I'm just taking that glitter primer and placing it right over where I cut my crease. Now I'm going to go into this shade right here and lay that right on top of that glitter primer. And then on my outer corners, I'm just laying down a little bit more glitter primer. And I'm gonna go into the shade next to the last one we just went into and place that right behind that first shade. Now 
I'm going to take this Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush and I'm going to dip into the shade right here. And I'm just going to very lightly place this on my outer corner. And that's just to kind of tie the look together and give me that dimension and depth in my outer corner. We're moving on to my base now. I'm gonna go ahead and prime with my color neutralizing primer from CoverGirl. This stuff smells like straight up perfume. So I am kind of worried that it may break me out, but only one way to find out, right? It does feel really hydrating and like really smoothing on the skin. Does it claim to be smoothing? Neutralizes redness and brightens skin while correcting uneven skin tone. Creates the perfect canvas for foundation. Long lasting, weightless feel. Oil free, fragrance free. Suitable for all skin types. I don't think it's fragrance free at all. Definitely smells like perfume. I think it has kind of con corrected the redness. It doesn't feel very tacky or anything like nothing that's gonna like really hold on to your foundation, but it does feel good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the foundation and this is what I'm really curious about because when I pumped it out on my hand, it looked really, really light. I'll show you guys. Compared to my skin tone, it does look really, really light. Um, I mean, the color looks like it's gonna be fine. I'm saying, uh, because it's reminding me, what foundation is it that I tried that I hated? No, it's reminding me of the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir foundation. It smells just like it. What the heck? Like it smells the exact same. And then it also has that same feel when blending it out. It feels like kind of dry in my opinion. I like a more dewy foundation. Maybe the shade is a tad bit light, but I definitely can work with this shade, especially after bronzer and all that. I'm going on my third pump now. So I'm definitely using a lot of product. I mean, the foundation doesn't look bad at all. You know, aside from the shade. Other than that, I do feel like it is matte. And I don't feel like it's overly matte, even though I'm not a fan of matte foundations. You can still tell that I have like a little sheen going on, which is what I like. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to highlighting. So I'm taking my Fit Me Concealer underneath my eyes. What the hell, you guys? I look like a damn doll. That's how poreless my under eyes look i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes i'm just taking my cody airspun powder and translucent extra coverage i'm just taking that same cody airspun powder and setting the rest of my face y'all i look so pale right now but that foundation really does not look bad like it's not it's not it's not like exaggerating any texture or anything like that like i think my skin actually looks pretty good it feels a little dry i'm not gonna lie just because you know my preference is a dewy foundation but it actually looks really nice now i'm gonna take that same rimmel now i'm gonna take the same rimmel bronzer we used in the crease and I'm just going to bronze, contour-ish, that kind of thing. That sounds good. I bronze my face contoured my nose and i went in with my milani baked blush and this is in the shade luminoso now i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with highlight i'm gonna go in with my wet and wild highlight and this is in the shade precious petals it's like a pink goldish type of thing and i'm just gonna go and highlight Now I'm gonna go in with mascara really quickly. So I'm just using my Wet n Wild Mega Wear. 
I'm gonna go in with these lashes today and these are the Mr. D volume in the style M314. I'm using my duo lash adhesive in black. Okay, so my lashes are on and I completely forgot to do my lower lash line. So that's what we're gonna go do real quick. I'm just gonna take this concealer brush because all of my brushes are dirty. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip into, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this orange shade and then pat this or try to blend this, I don't even know, on my lower lash line. Cause this is not the brush for the job, but whatever. Going in really quickly with some lower lash mascara. We can finally do our lips. I'm trying to decide between, I have both of these L'Oreal chocolate lips, lip matte liquid lipsticks, I don't know. Um, I have Candyman and Dose of Cocoa. Dose of Cocoa is more like a neutral pink kind of color. And then Candyman is a, it's still very like, you know, like neutral, not too much pink color but I don't yeah I think I'm gonna go with dose of cocoa just because like yeah I'm gonna go with dose of cocoa <gasps> I'm talking about dose of cocoa and I'm putting candy man on what the fuck? Ah, this is a very like nice nude kind of pink I like it. it it's pretty much sat down so I'm just gonna go over top with this NYX butter butter with this NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline Lastly, I'm just going to spray my face with my Hard Candy Long Wear Finishing Spray. That completes the look, you guys. Um, I probably am going to pop in a clip at the end of the night just to show you guys how the foundation is holding up since this is somewhat of a review. Um, so far, I like it. I think that the coverage is spot on. I think that the shade actually worked out fine after I got everything else blended on top of it. Um, everything else was super easy to blend out. I'm gonna quickly run over the claims and just see if I agree with them. So oil free, I can agree that it's oil free because it is a very matte finish, but it's not overly drying. So I do like that. Transfer resistant. Yeah, it does seem pretty transfer resistant. Um, pore minimizing, definitely. I noticed a crazy difference blending out my under eye concealer and comfortable to wear. I agree with that as well. Oh, it does feel a tad bit drying, but not anything uncomfortable. Um, but other than that, I really like this foundation. So stay tuned for the next clip. Hey guys, so I'm just coming to basically update you guys on the foundation. I don't like it. I don't know what it is but it just looks like really not even heavy like you can see all it's just it, it exaggerates my texture I think that's what it is you can literally see like every single bump and I've been really really stressed out lately so my skin has been like freaking out so this is just like exaggerating everything and I feel like it's kind of even grabbing onto like my bronzer I don't really but then it's like gone over here I don't know what's going on I just know it's something about it that I don't necessarily like so I probably won't use this again. Um, the coverage, it like went away throughout the day. When I first put it on, everything was covered. You couldn't really see like bumps or anything, but now all of a sudden you can see pretty much every bump clearly on my skin. So it's just not the foundation for me. Do your foundations work better on my skin just because even though I already have oily skin, I don't know, it's something about the hydration that just keeps my skin looking plump and skin-like throughout the day versus matte foundations that just kind of exaggerate my texture usually. So it's a no for me, but if you like matte foundations and they usually work out well for you, I could see this working for somebody else. So yeah, that's my update and um, I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.